everyone. Welcome to the Drinks with Jess podcast. This is Jess Brown, your host, and this is where we bring the LGBT community together and its allies to share in each other's missions and help each other grow. I hope everybody is still staying calm, staying home, and staying safe. This is a crazy time. But if you are new to listening to the show, please go on to dwjphl.com for all of our social media links and links to our archive shows. You can also go on to brandisenterprises.com slash be hyphen the hyphen voice for information about the show and all the others on the Be The Voice podcast network. So make sure you check those out, guys. Subscribe, rate, and review. You can find us everywhere. Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts. You can watch us on YouTube. You know the drill. So pass that along. And today I am very, very excited because I have been waiting to get this man on the mic for probably almost a good year now. But Stan Lucas, who is the founder of Trans Entertainment Network, he is an absolutely amazing man. And I am so thankful that you finally came and joined me on the show. And I see you have your drink. I have mine too. So how are you doing, Stan? Thanks for joining me. Finally, after all this time. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I'm finally glad to be here. Yeah, how how are you holding up with everything? Because you're in Atlanta, right? Right, yeah. It's kind of crazy down here. Um, you know, people are not really doing the social distancing, especially in the clubs. Mm-hmm. And that's because that's a big issue. And then we don't really have any any leadership, you know, any leadership uh, or any guidelines on what to do. You mm-hmm. know, uh, our governor uh sides with the president mm-hmm. and, and and the thing is is i can see you can you you can open up and do things but if you do it in a certain way just like wear the mask when you're out right you have to be out uh it's hard because you know especially people going to clubs and that's the thing that i see i see that people go to these go to the clubs and there's no social distancing mm-hmm. there's nothing i mean and now we we are hot spot here right Right. Part of that reason is they shut a lot of clubs down in Florida, mm-hmm. shut a lot of clubs down in New Orleans, so all the neighboring states, Mississippi, Alabama. So now we have an influx of everybody coming here. Right. So we have all these people from coming from other places coming here, mm-hmm. and so that causes a lot of issues. But you know, uh, all in all, we've been holding up. We've been mm-hmm. in a studio getting work done. Mm-hmm. So you know, hopefully. Uh, sometime in maybe late August, September, we can start getting back to doing shows and things like that. Right, absolutely. Good. You you want to make sure you keep your, your artists safe. And you have a wonderful roster of artists. So I want to mm-hmm. get into the the Trans Entertainment Network. But, you know, I up here in Philadelphia, we have a, a, we have a huge um, black trans community. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it, it, I mean, I would assume it's bigger than in, in a lot of other places. Okay. But we've also seen a lot of the hatred that comes along with it. So do you and your artists experience the same down no, there in Atlanta? Really, no, not in Atlanta or, or anything. As a matter of fact, most of the venues that we do our shows are straight venues. Really? Yeah, mostly straight venues. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so we get total acceptance. Um you know, uh, I hate to say it, but we don't get a lot of acceptance in the trans community. Mm-hmm. You know, so most of the people that book us for shows are either lesbian groups, mm-hmm. uh, stud promoters. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the majority of people. That, and then um, we have a, a booking company that books us for shows. Mm-hmm. And they booked us in right before the pandemic hit. We were in New York. Oh, wow. And we was at this club called Piano, which I was really like kind of afraid of in a way. Mm-hmm. And because uh, then it was a sold out event. And once the girls took the stage and did their thing, I mean, the audience, it was rocking. And so they invited us back in August to mm-hmm. perform again. So, you know, we haven't had any homophobic or anything like that at all. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, so I mean, now, we've been in some spots. I was so, like I said, I was concerned. Now, now, how how did this whole entertainment network come about? Like, what what drove you to create this? Uh, <laughs> back in 2015, I was I was working with a, uh, a 
a, a label, Top Flight Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And, but because I date in the trans community, my, my girlfriend's trans. Mm -hmm. um, so make a long story short, it's like when, you know, they do all the hip hop awards here. Right. So let's say like when they do the BET hip hop awards, they tape them on a Sunday night, mm -hmm. but during the week they have like, you know, like T.I. might have a party, Jeezy might have a party, but they have all these showcases going on and then the actual event takes place on a Sunday. Okay. So, that's, so when I was doing Atlanta uh, Underground Hip Hop Award, Atlanta Underground Music Award, mm -hmm. uh, they tapped me to be the music coordinator. Oh, wow. Uh, talent coordinator, rather. So when I was coordinating talent, I was like, well, wow, we got all these showcases. Why don't we do an LGBT night? And then they were like, oh, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. But once we, we had the, the LGBT night, and we had people from all over the country. Mm -hmm. And it was so many trans artists that showed up. Mm -hmm. So once it was over with, then they wanted to say, Stan, look, you got this. Let's do, you need, we need you to help us do this. We, this you're giving us a platform. Mm -hmm. So then I created an event called the Trans. So every so the people that promoted the Underground Music Award want to be part of the Trans Empowerment event. <laughs> so once we did that, it, it was it basically started off as a showcase. Okay. And then it went from that to trans models, trans designers, everything turned all trans, and it was like kind of a, a rock the uh, runway type event. Mm -hmm. And so, but that was something I said I would never do again. <laughs> because of the headaches, the media part of it. And so once it was over, it was time for everybody to go home. Mm -hmm. and nobody mm -hmm. wanted to leave Atlanta. And they were like, well, Stan, you, you know, there's a platform for this. You know, we need people like you, blah, 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 blah. So that's when I created the Trans Entertainment Network. And, and that, so it's been, it's been a piece of work. Because, you know, people have to understand the music business. They don't, mm -hmm. You have to understand that the work that's involved. Mm -hmm. A lot of the girls, you know, unfortunately watch reality TV. <laughs> so they think that they're going to be that bitch and I'm going to be, you know, in that attitude. And that attitude gets you nowhere. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And you have to be humble. And like I told a lot of the girls, I say, you know, Nicki Minaj was around Atlanta for years before anybody knew who she was. Mm -hmm. but, and, and to this day, she still stays humble to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And they have, that's what you have to learn, you know, because you don't want to make enemies before you, you get there. Absolutely. You know, get on top first. Then you can be that bitch if you want. But once you start that, because then, you know, we're in, a, we're in a world now, people, you know, you, they don't, it's not, you're not, you know, we don't have to have you. And so they make a lot of enemies and they burn a lot of bridges. Mm -hmm. And so it's been a piece of work with artists. There's work involved. You have to invest in yourself. And it's just not a matter of you just get into a studio recording and then say, okay, world is there. Right. Now you have to vote. You have to campaign. You have to get radio play. There's a whole, you know, like I tell them, I say the talent is only 10%. 90% of this is all business. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're at right now. You know, so, but I have a good roster of artists mm -hmm. and they're dedicated. And I'm, I'm 2020, even though with the pandemic going on, we have some terrific music that's getting ready to be released in the next couple of weeks. That's going to be amazing. That's awesome. Well, well, you know what? So what, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a break. And when we okay. come back, I want you to talk more about the people that are on your roster, because I remember okay. you sending me previously a lot of great tracks. So I want to get into some of the artists that, that you manage. And okay. hopefully when this pandemic is over, we can start uh, seeing some more performances. So oh, yeah. the rest of you out there, we will be right back with Stan Lucas. Stay tuned for more Drinks with Jess. All right. <laughs> the Drinks with Jess is making a big splash. It's time to join forces and step outside of our comfort zones. There is strength in union. It's time for people to tell their stories and make a difference. That is what we aim to do. The Drinks with Jess podcast is where we bring the LGBT community and its allies together to share each other's missions and help each other grow. Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Bringing you amazing guests that cover a wide variety of topics and are inclusive to all cultures and communities. Join us on this amazing journey. 
everyone, welcome back to the Drinks with Jess podcast. Again, this is Jess Brandish, your host, and this is where we bring the LGBT community together and its allies to share each other's missions and help each other grow. And joining me tonight is Stan Lucas from Trans Entertainment Network. He is the founder of this incredible platform of trans artists, singers, models, you name it. He covers it all, and he has a wonderful roster. Stan, thanks for sticking with me. Let's um, let's talk about some of the roster here because, you know, you had sent me previous tracks. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man, they were boss. Yeah. They were boss. So, so who's on your roster, hopefully, when the pandemic is over, that we're going to start to see a lot more of? Sure. <clears throat> we have uh, Crystal Beverly. Mm-hmm. Crystal does hip-hop, R&B, and pop. Mm-hmm. And uh, Crystal has done a lot. She performed uh, for Cheryl Underwood. For an event with Sean Underwood, mm-hmm. um, and then I have uh, hardcore hip hop, Selena Simone, and she's hardcore, sexy, and uh, she she really you know what, how do you say it? She 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 can cross the line. Yeah, she can throw uh, down. Oh, we got in New York and we got this. They told you the club piano, and you know she's. You know, she's very stacked. Mm-hmm. And when she got on that stage and she kind of, you know, showed something, I mean, the crowd went nuts. And, and it was amazing. I was like, oh, what's she doing? But she pushed the, she pushed that envelope. Mm-hmm. And then we have Shiny Tweak, mm-hmm. who is also a hip-hop artist. Mm-hmm. And Shiny's got new music out. And a, a, a new uh, artist we have is, we got Sine Raylan, who also uh, does hip-hop. Mm-hmm. But we have uh, a terrific artist named Chanel Nicole, and she does everything from you can name it from a uh, neo soul to just jazz, yes, to pop. I mean, she can she her range is incredible. Mm-hmm. And right now she's in the studio as we speak right now, putting the finishing touches on her on her track. I mean, really, she is amazing, totally amazing. That that's incredible. Now, it 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 sounds as if your your roster is mostly trans women. Well, that's really all it is. Yeah. Do Do you ever see a lot of trans men starting to make any headway as far as entertainment's concerned? We had a couple of trans men we were working with. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like men again, don't get the crowd going as much as women do. Right. And, and 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 that's the that's also a thing um, because we we had a couple of trans men artists mm-hmm. and that we work with, mm-hmm. but like I said, it's you know it takes a whole lot of uh, dedication to do stuff that we're doing, mm-hmm. and so we don't get a lot of the people that um, that want to that that the work that's involved, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and there's some great trans men talent out there, yeah, you know, some incredible talent. But, you know, like I said, you know, it's, it's entertainment, it's a business, you know, mm-hmm. and when people approach me about working with them, you know, the first thing I tell people is, you, you know, I, you know, you have to be willing to invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, a manager is just what it is. You don't work for me. I work for you. That's what a manager's job is. Mm-hmm. You know, that's like if you manage, you know, Macy's is a store. They hire a manager to manage the store. Mm-hmm. Macy's doesn't hire the manager to put up all the money and buy all the merchandise. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's how you have to kind of approach it. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to have a budget with what you do. And right. it's a lot of work, and people don't really understand that. Like right. One of the things I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to do some music one-on-one workshops that I'm going to be doing um, just so people can get educated on royalties mm-hmm. how you get paid mm-hmm. you know uh, a lot of artists sit back and they'll say hey i want to be paid to do these shows mm-hmm. well that's fine and a promoter doesn't care you know and they say and the thing is i said well can you you got to draw people mm-hmm. and they say well i'm the I'm, I'm the baddest rapper out here i'm the baddest this well promoters don't care about that Right. They want you. They don't care. It's it's. Can you bring people in the door? Right. They want they want their cut. 
You know, and that's and that's really what it is. It's about that's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. And then you have to understand too that that one, you know, you know, you go you can get on social media and you can be with all your girls and you be 20 deep with your girls and you're posing with the Hennessy, but you can't even get five of them to pay ten dollars to see you do a show. You can't get ten of them to spend ninety nine cents to download your track, but yet you're all over social media with all this support. You know, and you have to take that support. Because, like I tell anybody, the music we have, you you tell me any music better that's out there better than what we're doing right now. Yeah, you you do have some sick tracks. And you, def you definitely have some sick tracks. If they ever can, if the trans community can really get the unity together mm -hmm. to do it, it'll be amazing. But that's where it comes in because nobody's going to support this, and I'm not going. You know, it, it's it's really kind of tragic in a way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we, we have an audience, and so we, we keep thriving. I love that. I love that. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe one day you, you and I will get together, and, and we'll try and help create some of that, that trans unity out there, and, oh, yeah. and uh, maybe we can put on a showcase together during these times. Oh, yeah. because, that would be awesome. Because everything's shut down, and I have the technology right. to do it virtually, and you have the, uh, you have the great roster. So I think that we, right. could, we could do some damage together. I think that would be awesome. Oh, yeah. where, can, where can everybody uh, find uh, any of the tracks that you guys have out? Uh, the best thing to do, because I can send me giving you all these links, is just go to transentertainmentnetwork.com. Mm -hmm. And okay. everything is there. And for all of you that are listening, just make sure you go into the show notes because I will have a link there. And for okay. those of you who are watching, you can see that information on the screen as we speak. S Stan Lucas. You are an absolutely incredible individual. And I love the fact that, you know, the, the trans community really is, is making a, a name for itself yes. at this point. And I think it's needed. And I think there's just such an importance to bringing the community together. Because, I mean, as far as, as, far as the, the gay community is concerned, I mean, they were the ones who were fighting for our rights. And we have right. to also you know, remember that they're a part of our community too. Like we're not right, separate, right, yeah. we're all together in this. So we got to make that happen. And you are doing just that. And I am very, very honored that you're here joining me. For the rest of you out there, check out Trans Entertainment Network. Again, you see that information on the screen. You can read it in the show notes. And Stan, thank you again so much for joining me. For the rest of you, we will be talking to you soon. Thank you, Jeff. It was a pleasure. Finally, thank you. Awesome. Love it.